essentially the same course. If you pass this, they would reduce your entry grade. Their course was different because it was accredited. Once again, I'm answering one of your questions and today the question that I got was one asking me about my experience of applying to university. So to read the question out to you first, um, it says, please could you do a video on your experience on applying to university, why you chose Newcastle and where else you applied. Okay, so you know, weirdly as much as I talk about these kind of things on this channel, I haven't actually talked about um, me applying to universities and you know, where else I applied. So let's just get into that, shall we? So those of you who watch me regularly will know that I did my degree at Newcastle University, um, which I will point out is here on the UK map in case you didn't know um, and that was in biomedical sciences now I will tell you what other universities I applied to but I will firstly tell you why I chose Newcastle so one of the biggest things for choosing Newcastle was that it is a university that's quite close to where I live so my family home or like my parents home it's about an hour south from Newcastle and when I was making applications to go to university I think you know I'm an only child and I think my parents wanted me to stay quite close so they said, you know, go to go to Newcastle, that's a good university, or at least consider going to Newcastle. Now, me being like the stubborn teenager that I was, I was like, nope, that's too close to home. I want to move away. I want to go and explore in the blur. And I was just like, no, you only want me to go to Newcastle because you want me to like stay close by and all this kind of stuff. And because of that, I started looking at universities in lots of other places. So I was looking at Bristol, I was looking at Birmingham, and I was looking at where else? Maybe Bath or Brighton? Lots of B's, a lot of B universities I remember. But there was something else that played a big factor into why I chose Newcastle and that was because my school was local, okay it's not like local, but um, because like the city is quite close to where I live, um, my school had this program with Newcastle that would allow students from my school to go and do summer schools at the university and then sit a little exam at the end of a two-week summer school and if you pass this they would reduce your entry grades now I applied to this because I was like oh this sounds interesting and I'm eligible so I'll just give it a go and I thought you know if it can reduce my um, requirements then why not that's only a good thing right and also I kind of wanted to get a little bit of a like taste for university before I even got there so I went and did the summer school and I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the faculty, I really enjoyed the campus um, and you know, I kind of just like fell in love with it a little bit. And then I had to be like, mom, dad, I do want to apply for Newcastle but it's not because of what you said. God, I was clearly a very mature 17 year old, can you tell? Anyway, so my mind was made up to go and study in Newcastle. And the thing with me is that sometimes with certain things when I make my mind up, I like, I know okay that's definitely what I want to do that's definitely what I want to stick to probably not the greatest personality attribute I'm working on it but anyway I had made my mind up to go to Newcastle now in addition to Newcastle I also applied to Manchester um, the University of Manchester Metropolitan and also Durham. Now I got into Manchester Metropolitan straight away and Manchester Met wasn't a research uni so their course was different because it was accredited whereas the other uh, universities weren't. So I got into Manchester Met and I also got into uh, Manchester University as well. Now the course at the University of Manchester was very very similar to, the New uh, to Newcastle and I think the reason why I decided to go to Newcastle even though I had offers from both places is like I said because I'd spent this um, two weeks at the summer school and just really enjoyed it. But when I went on the open day with my mum to Manchester she was like go, go, go to Manchester like look how great this like university is go go and you know it would have been an amazing option but I chose Newcastle and the rest is history. Now I didn't get into Durham so that was the one that I didn't get into but I got into the others and now the observant ones amongst you will be thinking well Atisa that's only four universities and you have five options what happened to the fifth one and all right so 
when I was applying to biomed and do you know what this is the reason why I make these videos because I was like so uninformed at the time anyway when I was applying to biomed at Newcastle they there were two courses so there was biomed which is a BSc and it is a three-year course and then there was also biomed with an integrated master's which was an MSci and that was four years now I thought oh well a master's I can you know I don't even get a bachelor's I just go straight away getting this like masters that's such a good idea i'm gonna apply for that one but then a part of me was like oh yeah but but like maybe i change my mind and maybe i don't get into that one and i might get into the three-year one so i was like okay all right doesn't matter i'm gonna apply to both ah oh, little did i know it was essentially the same course because i got into the um four-year masters course to begin with and then i realized that you know this course is essentially the same as um all of the other people who are doing a BSc and we're all doing everything together and in fact there is an option for me to opt out of the masters which I ended up doing and there is an option for people who aren't on the masters to opt in to the masters if they um, finish their second year with a 2-2. So I essentially applied to the same course twice. But I mean, it doesn't matter because I always wanted to go to Newcastle, so no loss there. Overall though, I have to say, I really did enjoy my time at Newcastle. There were obviously a lot of ups and downs, and again, it's why I make these videos, um, because I did have a lot of time confused about my course and confused about what I wanted to do. But you know what? I kind of sort of figured it out, or at least figured some of it out eventually so i hope that answers your question i don't think there's much more to that story to be honest i applied to newcastle because i love the summer school and it kind of ended up being quite convenient because if any time i wanted to come home for whatever reason then i was only a hour's bus trip away so my lovelies give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share with me some of your university stories down below all right i will see you tomorrow